In our last video, we took a 22 long rifle and put it up against a water buffalo. But in this video, I wanna try a step above the 22 LR. We're gonna be trying out a gun I've never used before, and it's actually a 22 Hornet. It's this one. You can either get the Hornet, the Wasp, or the Yellow Jacket. But in reality, they're all the same bullet, the 22 Hornet. You have three different options. They look pretty much all the same, and since now we can customize our own camos, I don't think it matters at all. So I'm going with the Hornet. Let's go to storage, take all these other 22s out, Let's buy some ammo. We'll do polymer tip. Go ahead and buy a boatload of it because we're going to be using a boatload of it. We'll go ahead and customize this thing. That way it doesn't look like a black piece of pop. Mmm. No. Ooh. No. Ooh. This. Ooh. No. Ooh. Ooh. This might look like... Ooh. Okay. It's all right. It's not bad. What about this one? Red? Mm, no, not really. I like this color. I think it looks really good, but I already have a 22 like that. Here's the expensive but definitely not. That, uh, it looks awfully similar to that. Multicam, I like that. I think I wanna go with this though. That looks like a copperhead, plus it's called the Hornet. Get rid of this ammo, pull up the 22 Hornet. Let's go kill something. What's gonna be our first victim? Pretty much the first thing we see, we're gonna, oh, per turkey, literally, Perfect. Let's pull it out. I've never used this gun before. Let's look at the zero distance. You got 109, 54, and 164. So you actually have the same exact zero distance as a normal 22. So that's not exactly helping it that much. All right, that's a long shot, but uh, let's try it. Oh, right above it. Ah, oh, we missed it. There goes our two chances, and we lost it. With a normal 22, I have a feeling that turkey would have sat there a little bit longer. Plus, this thing gives off a good little crack when you shoot it. And before we go too far, let's go over here and let's put a 22 in our pouch just in case so that we can have a fair comparison. Because in this video, I want to find out, is the 22 Hornet actually better than the normal 22? We're switching maps. We're getting out of here. And we're going to Quattro Clothes <laughs> And the reason we came here is for the newly added animal, which is ring-necked pheasants. Can I pop up the 22 Hornet and can I smack it super easy? About to find out. Oh, it's, it's running. I can't shoot it running. Well, dang. I was about to take the shot. There's one. That's not a male. That's not a male. Oh, there goes the male. Stop moving. Why are you running? Why are you running? Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Close, 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 close. Oh, it dropped him. He didn't have much to say about that. But at the same time, if I shot that thing with a 22, it would have done the same exact thing. It would have died instantly. Oh, there's something. Now this is one stage above what the 22 Hornet is supposed to be able to get, but we're gonna push its limits and we're gonna see if it can kill the roe deer if it has to. That'll give us a good understanding of its true power. Yeah, we can, we can take that pretty easily, I think. All right, let's claim this bird. Pretty good bird. Where'd I hit it? That's about as perfect as a shot as you can get. It doesn't really matter though, but let's walk over to this hay bale, get some cover, and we're gonna, oh yeah, we're gonna shoot him right there in the lungs and see how far he goes. And here's the thing, guys. When you look at it, the animal class is actually a class three. That means to get full credit and full money, you need to use a gun which is viable for class three. When you look at the normal 22, the recommended classes is only one. But when you look at the 22 Hornet, it's one and two, meaning it can take level two game and level one and get full credit for both of them. Now, of course, this is a level three. We're kind of just shooting this one for fun. Or not for fun, but to see what kind it can actually do. All right, let's see what it can do. How powerful is it really? Because that should be a shoulder double lung, and it's not even going down. Missed it right there. That thing's still going. That thing's gonna die, but man, is it? It may not even die. This thing might not be as powerful as we think. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move over to another map. <laughs> And we came to Yukon Valley, and the reason is to target and take a shot at one of these right here. It's a red fox. It's a level two animal. If you shoot it with the normal 22, you're not gonna get full credit. If you shoot it with something like a 30 out 6, you're not gonna get full credit. He's not far away. So let's walk over to the edge, pull out the 22 Hornet, see one, do we get full credit? But mainly two, how well does it actually kill him? We can get him to stop. Oh, and I didn't bring any calls. Dang. If I could blow up. Oh, is he moving fast? Stop moving, stop moving. All right, well, that was a good shot. Is he going far? He's down. Oh, a stinking wolf. Oh, a stinking wolf. Eat this then, you dang wolf.
I don't like wolves, but I just now realized I am in the Yukon Valley, so I'm gonna make one pit stop real quick, and then we'll resume the hunt. Fun fact for y'all, don't come to the Yukon Valley without a 10 millimeter pistol. Holds 15 rounds of 10 millimeter. Do not leave your house without it. At least when you're in the Yukon. Okay. Now I feel safe. Let's go check out that fox. And the fox didn't go very far at all. It's a very, very efficient kill. Oh, and there we go, it was a gold. Oh, that's a pretty good shot. That's a good, that's a dark red. I know it's not a diamond, and I don't mount stuff often, but I am sitting on a lot of cash right now. I think I'm actually gonna mount this guy because I got a good shot on him, and why not, you know? Pretty cool, pretty cool. So that did something that the normal 22 couldn't. See, the normal 22 wouldn't be able to legally kill that because it doesn't go up to a number two. So since the 22 Hornet can take out both class one and class two animals, does it completely replace the 22? I don't know. Let's take it to another map and let's try it on another animal. <laughs> And now we're at Reventuli Coast. A lot of water. Wonder why? Probably for waterfowl, you buddy. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. These are apparently dabbling ducks. I don't know anything about ducks. That's why we're shooting them with a 22. But a true test for the 22 Hornet. Can we efficiently snipe ducks at extreme distances? Because the 22 long rifle can. Let's pull it out and let's stink and rip it one time. Plus, with the 22 long rifle, they'll give you one, two, three, four shots at them. Right over. Took off immediately. They took off immediately. That ain't looking good, boy. I'm telling you, when this thing goes off, it sounds like a stinking cannon. Let's switch spots, and we're going to try that same test, but with the 22 long rifle, and we're going to see if they fly away as fast. <laughs> All right, boys. We got a bunch of ducks out there or something like that. They're about, they're roughly about the same distance. So let's pull out the 22 and we'll hold a little bit high and we'll see how fast they fly away, you know? Two shots. Three shots. I'm just gonna say this. Did you see the difference how they reacted? The first shot with that uh, wind mag or 22 wind mag, whatever it's called, a hornet, it flew away. But with the long rifle, we got three slow shots. This thing's kind of like a little silenced gun, even though it's not silenced, but they kind of treat it like it is. So let's head on to another map. By the way, comment below, how do you like this little hopping around thing? Do you actually like this? Cause we're hopping around to a bunch of maps today. <laughs> And this is when I tell you about my next point. When we look at the 22 Hornet, one of the main things we like is that it has multiple recommended classes. One and a two. That's a pretty good range. But you know what else has a really big range? The 243 soft point. It also goes down to a two, but it also goes up to a six. So let's go kill something with it. Now granted, you can't kill ducks, you can't kill turkeys with the 243, but you can still kill fox up to like elk. And at that point, you can get rid of another mid-range rifle and then just pack a 22. I think I'm starting to figure this out. Oh, there goes a big one. Plus, the 243 has a lot better... I can't tell if he's walking towards me or away from me. Oh, no, he's coming towards me. We're going to shoot him on the range or on the run. But the 243 has more power and more favorable zero distances. So even for a class 2 animal, I'm not seeing a reason you wouldn't want to use the 243. It may not be the best at killing elk, but it can definitely flatline a coyote or fox. That was weird. <laughs> Okay, maybe it can't kill a decent sized animal, but I hit something. Yeah, it can kill it. You do just gotta hit it good though. You don't have much room for error on bigger size animals. Okay, maybe it can't kill it. Okay, whatever. Wow, the 243. <laughs> Okay, I stand corrected. Maybe the 243 is not that good. Let's go somewhere else because I'm not sitting here shooting at deer all day and not killing them. Let's go down the Mississippi to do a couple jobs the 22 Hornet was literally made for. <sighs> man, that I was I was really hoping I could shoot a deer with the 243, but man, it's just it's just a terrible gun. It's just a terrible gun. But to do our dirty business down in Mississippi, we gonna need a two of things. We gonna need a predator call, and we gonna need a coon squalor. Let's go kill some stuff. Well, Lord have mercy, look in front of us, boys. We just got a gray fox mating call. Woo! We're about to smoke him with the 22 Hornet. We gotta get over here and get in a bush, and then we're gonna call him right in, and we're gonna smack him real face with the stinking horn. 
He's gonna be coming right through her somewhere, and that's when we's gonna stop moving. Keep your eyes out, son. Keep your eyes out. As soon as you see him, you pull up and you shoot him. There he goes! Dang it! We seen him. Might be about as good as we're gonna get. Let's move on to something else. All right, boys. We're putting the 22 Hornet up to something. It needs to be able to handle if it's gonna walk around in Mississippi. Oh, it's a Bob White quail. Good luck seeing that. I can't. I ain't. I ain't never seen a Bob White quail in this game. They're about one pixel. I can't see them. There's a pig up here though. If this thing's gonna run the streets of Missouri, it's gonna have to be able to kill. Oh, there goes one. I don't think I hit it. There goes one, there goes one, there goes one. Ah, dang it! Oh, snap! <gasps> Buddy, were you gonna say anything there, bud? You gonna tell me there's a hog coming at my knees there, bud? You gonna sit there and no, no, nothing? Ten, I'm glad I didn't unpack the 10 milli, I know that. I can feel that one in my hand, dude, that hurt. I tell you one thing, you can put a 10 millimeter in anything and it ain't going too far. Guaranteed. Heck to the yes, five shots. Boys, 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 there's a gator. There's a stinking gator. I don't know if he's dead or not. Jamal, watch out! We're in Gator Town. Was I planning on coming down here and killing him with the 22 Hornet? Yes, I was. Is did that ever happen? No, it didn't. He just tried to kill my dog. He just tried to kill my dog. That's my dog. You don't do that to my dog, dude. I will pepper. I will pepper you. I'll put all 15 in you. Did you just roll that replay? He just tried to kill Jamal. He literally just tried to kill my dog. That's it, dude. That's it, I'm done. I'm done. Click over here if you want to see our cheap versus expensive challenge, or right over here for whenever we tested a 22 long rifle versus a water buffalo. And click over here to subscribe because next episode, I'm killing every alligator I possibly can.